<laughs> and we are back on this Wednesday morning. We'll talk about something. If you're having trouble sleeping, we're going to tell you what you can use that's probably or actually good for you, right? Yeah, it actually right. is. Good. Let's talk about that before I guess. 65 is a good thing because he's been giving it to me at night, knocking me out. 65, 66 degrees, high temperatures from 94 today, only 10% chance of those shower, pop up showers. But it is summertime. Keep that in mind, too, because you could possibly see just a little shower and then it gone quickly. Low temperatures of 71. Tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. At first, we thought 30% chance of rain on Thursday, but not going to happen. Not going to happen until Friday. That jumps up to 50% as well as Saturday. So try to plan your outdoor. Frank, we got a bathroom in the inside. <laughs> I go outdoor out events carefully. He likes outside better than <laughs> inside. Now that the sun comes up, Frank has to watch it. Be careful out. He is going to the corner of the building. <laughs> My wife gets on to me about that, too. Yeah. Well, you she got to well give that up because you'll not stop. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had a busy Monday. We were stopped by Monday we morning yes. and it packed in there. Yeah, it was it was a great first Monday. That's uh, whenever we have our discounts and everything. But y'all are um, y'all are talking about some Adamax. I was actually able to work some for you on Monday. Everybody was busy, so a lady needed some of the oils that were behind the counter. She's like, I can't open the back. I said, I can. Come on. All right. So we just went back there and got some tree oil, and we looked for some lemon oil. And, hey. Yeah. Well, hey. Yeah. yeah, you need to right. stay at the store more often. She needs a part-time job. I need to work. <laughs> back to, some, uh, what, back, back to the stuff I take at night. Yeah. Uh, basically, what that is is that's what we call a growth hormone releaser. And see, Where am I growing? <laughs> well, yeah, your pituitary releases growth <laughs> hormone while we're asleep to help repair all the damage that has happened throughout the day. For instance, you know, if you work out, you have damaged muscles, tendons, bones. Well, that ain't my like that. That's not us. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get scratched, I might have dropped up, the weight on burn up, up yeah. whatever, then growth hormone increases, and that's when you go into stage four sleep, which is called REM sleep. Hmm. Um, that's rapid eye movement and. That's when, really, that's why we sleep, is to repair. And a lot of people that have um, issues sleeping, they can take something like Somatomax and you get that good sleep. And I mean, it but works. But yet you can still every wake time. up because if Zorro has to go out, he'll be like, uh, that's about as much no, sound that was as me last night. <laughs> <laughs> so I can still hear him enough to wake up and let him out. Yeah. So it doesn't. Not real happy about not getting like up. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Or when you take a. But that's some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Something. And whenever you're sleeping that good and you get woke up, um, but like you I can said, fall back asleep. But it's good yeah. for me too. So oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's it making me younger repair. as I sleep. Exactly, it helps with cellular repair. They actually call it growth hormone yeah, the fountain of mind. youth hormone. Um, growth hormone is the reason we go from this tall to as tall as we are. Now your bone platelets have already sealed off, so you're not going to get any taller. I don't think I'm going to grow anymore. Yeah, no, but um, <laughs> taller wise. You can grow yeah. out, not. Uh, yeah, well, I grew out all right. Oh muscle. my, that was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Well, I mean, what else do you have? Any little bit helps these days. I mean, I know he's beating around a bush, but. All right. Hey, you know, we do have natural Viagra, too. Anyway. Um, Y'all still sell that stuff? Yeah, like crazy. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so come by and check that out. Anyway, read this book. It's called Bionutrition, and this is by um, Dr. Ray Strand. And, you know, Dr. Strand in here tells, he's 26 years into the medical profession, and he said, you know, I always told my patients um, what we have been told in medical school, you know, nutritional supplements are basically snake oil. Um, snake oil? Yeah, you know, they're, they're false. If people come in and they ask him about it, he said, you know, it was always an emotional issue. It, he said it made his toes curl whenever his patients would ask about it. He said until one day he ran into this lady and the lady said, well, you know, why don't you look at the studies done on nutritional supplements before you start making these statements? And he said, what studies could there possibly be on these supplements? So she pulls out the New England Journal of Medicine, the Journal of the American Medical Association, and the Lancet, which are the medical professional's most sacred, you know, books. Encyclopedia. And uh, she says, look, here's a double-blind control placebo studies proving that this is what they do, these are what you need, this is... and." He says, as I go through this, I went, why was I never taught this? And he said, on you know, further study, and he said, I figured out that it's not patented. The pharmaceutical industry is not going to tell us about this because they can't make any money on it. Mm -hmm. And that's who funds that schooling. That's where it all comes from. So, you know, a lot of times, like with Dr. Strand, he says, if you want to maintain good health, you have to have the proper supplements. 
He said supplementing your diet is going to help to prevent um, cardiovascular disease and cancer and diabetes where we can't do it any other way. So he says take the highest grade nutrition you possibly can and that's where your nutritional health care supplements come in. Um, you know, your MSM helps with the antioxidant value. One of the biggest things is oxidative stress, which is where our body breaks down early mm -hmm. from getting um, too much, well, yeah, it gets stressed and we literally rust inside. It's uh, called free radical damage and MSM helps to prevent that by being an antioxidant. Now people who, um, also in healing comes hormones. And with men, one of the main hormones is testosterone. That's what gives us... And at a certain age, you automatically lose, start yeah. to lose your... And believe it or not, women, um, after menopause, their testosterone levels run between 30 and 50. Mm -hmm. After menopause, it goes to zero, which is why you have all the issues that come along with going through the change and things like that. You increase those natural testosterone levels up to about 30, and all those symptoms go away. Hmm. And that, um, that's why they're starting to give women testosterone therapy. Now, a man's testosterone should run between 700 and 1,000, which I got YouTube videos on all this that explains it in great How detail. How about I check mine? Well, you got to go to the doctor and get it checked. You need it's a, a blood, blood test. Yeah, you need a blood test to tell. I just keep mine as high as it'll possibly go. Helps so to build on muscle that blood test I had a year ago that I gave you, would it have it on there? Or you have to tell no, them. To no, you that. have to specifically okay. ask for it. Right. And um, you know, they'll even if they find out that your testosterone levels are low, then they can give you synthetic testosterone. You the problem with that. getting synthetic testosterone, if you're taking it, which a lot of men are at this point, is <laughs> you stop producing your own, which means you lose your testicles before long. If Absolutely. you don't have something like this to spark production and keep everything Well, I ain't going. looking for production. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you are. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. You guys uh, take that out after the show. Now, for those, for those people who are actually um, afraid of testosterone therapy, because with increased testosterone... Do you testosterone, recommend testosterone therapy? Now, okay, aside... Are you recommending it? Let's, let's yeah, I actually do. If you have low testosterone and you can't... <laughs> You can't get it up any aside, other way. Aside, aside. <laughs> testosterone therapy helps Is a lot. Is that the only, I mean, are we talking about, and I hate to say this, but try to gentle this. Gently. Gentle this. Gently, I'm sorry make this gently but is testosterone only needed for that one issue no okay what else do you need testosterone, testosterone is literally where a man's um drive comes from if you find yourself with a lack of ambition that's, about, that's um, me lack of ambition yeah and you just don't have to get standards. up and go you don't have the motivation <laughs> guy got no um, motivation i had a guy come in and he told me after taking test up for about five days he said man he said, I got up the last couple of days and I actually wanted to go to work. He said, that's do you know important. what that's like? And I was like, yeah, no, I don't. I can get up most days. I always want to go to work. <laughs> but that's what happens when we lose testosterone. You get up and you just feel as bad as you did whenever you went to bed. You don't have that drive. You don't have... I feel good when I go focus, to bed. Um, concentration. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, Your you body needs more need rest because what it's trying so to do... So you're saying I need to sleep more during the day? No, what no. I'm, no, you need to get your testosterone levels up. But um, it, you won't want to sleep as much whenever your testosterone levels are high because I like you repair so mm -hmm. much more quickly. I have to have my... You just can't look this good on a couple hours. So i got to have at least seven, <laughs> eight hours. Well, <laughs> for those people who are afraid of testosterone therapy, <laughs> there's a new thing called SARMs. Um, I did a YouTube video on this. SARMs are selective androgen receptor That's not modulators. A no, this is a bottle. Hey, it's supposed to be expensive. This, this fits the receptors of testosterone without being testosterone to negate the side effects. Without making you mean, without just uh, making you... All right, okay, let's go ahead and get this get out of the way. Yeah. Testosterone never makes you mean. Okay. It makes you happy, go lucky, feel good. Now, steroids, which are not make testosterone, but testosterone derivatives, make you angry. Okay, okay. those, not okay. Testosterone makes you happy. That's a good thing. Yeah, it, yeah. So, are you saying that stuff replaces having to go to the doctor, or you still recommend get? Well, you need your you need your blood, blood work, work done. Okay. And if you can get your testosterone levels up naturally with this, it's a much better route to take. Oh, I got you. Because got you. It, this will never harm you. Whereas if they shoot testosterone in your body, you can get levels too high, and you can have high blood pressure and strokes and 
eventually your Foster doctor takes you stuff. off of testosterone because of those things and that's where test up comes in is mm -hmm. to force the body's production back. Okay. And that also has an estrogen blocker. One of the problems that happens with testosterone, you get too much of it, it converts over into estrogen, and guys get moves. You don't want those. And probably moody. So that will never happen with test up because it also has a natural estrogen blocker in there. So that's really important. And well, I take the other two daily yeah. underneath it. Well, and if you're only she will not let me take MSM. any test up stuff. You're fine. Oh, you, you need test up. Um, if I can happy, he'll feel better. He is happy. He uh -huh. just likes to complain. Okay. <laughs> Be working on that. Uh, but yeah, if there wasn't but one thing in the store to take, you take well, this. And that's that because that helps with absorption. That's uh, your that's antioxidant. That's going to help in aid in the prevention, according to uh, Dr. Strand, medical doctor. It's going to aid in prevention of cancer, diabetes, heart disease.